What's up guys, today I have a top 5 best iPad 2 SEA apps or tweaks. These apps are featured on this video on my personal picks and maybe different from yours. Without any further ado, let's start. Coming in at number 5 is Multi Icon Mover. This tweak basically allows you to move multiple icons all at once, like name suggests. Let me demonstrate to you how it works. You just hold on an application and wait until it wiggles. Now just tap on the icon to want to move, like so, then you move to the desired page and you simply click on your home button. So let me de just demonstrate it once again. Hold on an app, tap the apps I want to move, and then go to a different page and finally click on the home button. This is a really sweet tweak that can be found on Cydia for free. Coming in at number 4 is Multiflow. Multiflow is an elegant app switcher that is a lot better than the default Apple app switcher. It gives you the possibility to show all apps on the same screen for easy and quick multitasking. Let me just demonstrate you how it works. You can set different gestures to activate Multiflow via Activator. Like shown right here, I have an expose style app switching. You can add a background to it. You can reopen an application that you have running in the background, and you can even close an application you don't want to have running in the background anymore. You can configure different options via the settings application. For example, I can change from the expose style switching to the webOS card switching, which also looks really cool. Multiflow can be purchased on Cydia for only $4.99. Making its way to number 3 is InfiniDock. This uh, tweak allows you to extend your iPad dock. You can have as many applications or folders as you want. Let me just demonstrate to you how it works. You just drag the locations you want to move right to the dock like so. You be able to organize your dock with pages just like the springboard. As you can see, I have set 4 icons per page on my dock, but I be able to change the set up to 10 icons, which is ridiculous. But 10 is way too much for me, so I'll just change it back to 6. You can just play around with it, mess around with it, and I think that this Cia tweak is really cool. You can find this Infinity Dock on the Cydia App Store for only 99 cents. My second favorite Cydia tweak has definitely to be Gridlock. Gridlock allows you to freely position your apps on the springboard anywhere. Without Gridlock, you'd be in a grid where it doesn't allow you to position the icons anywhere I would like. But with Gridlock, you just drag the apps, then drop them to my desired position. It is a really simple SEA tweak. Let me just demonstrate you the red lock a couple times. Just drag them and drop them. Just drag them and drop them. Really, really simple. You can for form different shapes, you can form ladders if you want, and on uh, Gridlock comes in a very cheap price at only 99 cents on the Cydia App Store. Coming in at the first place is a new SEO tweak called Gesturizer. Gesturizer allows you to use gestures to open certain applications with a gesture. Let me just show you how it works. You just open your app switcher, then you would have this transparent area right here. Let me just draw Y for YouTube, and as you can see, it recognizes it really well. And it opened YouTube smoothly. You can configure different gestures on the settings applications. You just tap on the add gesture, name gesture, and configure it what to do. In my case, I'm gonna um, configure it to open settings. Then you record the cliff or the gesture. So let's just draw SE for settings, wait and then tap on save. Let's find out if it works. Let's just go back and I'll just draw the gesture again, SE. And as you can see, it recognized it without any lag. It is really smooth, even though it didn't look like what it drew in the first place. But oh well. 
You can get gesturizer for two ninety nine on the Cydia app store. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment on this video. Doing that will encourage me to make more videos in the future. Again, thanks for watching and happy tweaking.